joining me right now, Chip Roy, District 21 on the Stevens Roofing Newsmaker Hotline. Congressman, good to have you back on the show this morning. Great to be on, Trey. How are you? I'm doing very well, man. It's always a pleasure and honor to talk with you. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Elaine was telling me you've got some new legislation that you got coming in about. Is it about PPE or what? what is it about? Well, it's about the PPP program, which was adopted ah. by Congress uh, right. a couple of months ago, right, as a part of the CARES Act. And that's what a lot of small businesses have been trying to take advantage of in order to stay afloat during this, this whole mess, right? We got everything shut down and you got small businesses, restaurants, uh, barbershops, everybody getting uh, hammered, unable to carry out their business. And uh, we need we, the purpose of it was to try to help them stay afloat. And look, $650 billion went out to a bunch of businesses and, and it's helped them. But they're, but they're telling me every day that they're still struggling and that the rules in, in the program make it impossible for them to actually continue to stay afloat, at least a lot of the restaurants. You know, look, I represent 2,300 restaurants that employ 53,000 between Austin, San Antonio, and the Hill Country. It's a real problem, and I've been listening to them for two months. So I introduced legislation. It's a bipartisan bill, if you can believe it or not. And huh. uh, it makes a number of changes. It extends the loan forgiveness period from eight weeks to 24 weeks. It gives Good. more flexibility with uh, how you use the money. And and uh, we're hoping to get a vote on it on Thursday. And, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. This town has a way of messing up. Uh, reasonably common sense ideas, but we've got to at least push forward to have a vote on it on Thursday. Good for you. I I know uh, you heard from Jimmy Haslock over at Jim's. I know he's a friend, and he's a friend of mine as well. And he says you've been very, very responsive and and have done a great job to help these restaurants out. Uh, and that's much appreciated in this area. I can tell you that. And that's exactly the the right way to go. Eight weeks is not enough time. There's no way you can do that in eight weeks. They have to have some more flexibility, and they want to do what's right. Well, you know, I'm glad you mentioned Jimmy, and I could mention dozens of other restaurant owners. He's a good friend, and so many of these guys and gals that have put their heart and soul and families into businesses. You know, the Cortez family, fairly famously in San yep. Antonio, uh, and I've been talking to them a great deal. Uh, a lot of restaurants in and around Austin, Texas. Some have unfortunately closed their doors for good. We're doing our part to try to keep every restaurant and every business open. Uh, they're, they're, they're hurting through no fault of their own. And uh, so the least we can do is provide some flexibility here to give them the ability to stay afloat. You know that, and unfortunately, the administration, the Small Business Administration, adopted an arbitrary rule saying you could only use seventy five percent of this. Uh, that you had to use seventy five percent of this for for employment. And look, a lot of our restaurants have a lot of uh, uh, taxes and mortgage and and uh, rent payments that are a bigger chunk of their of their payment and so i'm just trying to give them flexibility to use these dollars in order to stay afloat so that there are jobs for anybody to go back to and keep in mind also congress led by democrats screwed this up by by increasing unemployment such that we're paying people more not to work than to work and these businesses are struggling to hire people back so we got to do our part to try to give them the business the ability to stay open